Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create some doodly characters using artificial intelligence. Hey, and welcome to the official doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. The other day I was playing around with two different AI tools intending to make some characters to import into doodly. And this is what I came up with. So I have this little lady and then the male version of her actually were these two. And while this is the closest that it came to the doodly style, it is kind of handy to be able to create your own characters in a pinch using the AI tools. So today I'm going to show you what I did. Now keep in mind there's a million different tools out there and a million different ways that you can accomplish this. So my way is not the only way. So just play around with it and see what you come up with. The first thing I did was I made an image with Mary, which is a doodly character, in three different poses. My idea was that I would tell ChatGPT this is kind of what I have in mind. And that's what I did. I gave this to ChatGPT, gave it some instructions, and this is what it output. And I like that, but I wanted to see the male version. So now create a male character. And here it is. And then I said, let's give it some color. As you can see, the consistency across the board is not quite there. You're not going to get the same style every time. So be aware of that. And then I also tried Free Pick, which has a new AI tool. And there's a couple different things you could do in there. I was playing with the same image in its sketch to image tool and it came up with these male characters and that was fine. Then today I started playing around with it and I used the text to image tool. So I entered a prompt. It just said, you know, give me a male character with glasses. And this is what it gave me down here. And then I added something like whiteboard style. Well, it just put the guy in front of a whiteboard. It didn't give me, you know, what I consider a whiteboard style. But these were kind of fun. And I went on to choose this one in their editor tool and eventually came up with this. And I'm going to show you all of that today. Let's go ahead and play around. Let's choose a character. Let's choose Andrew. We'll just use one pose today. Let's see if that gives us better results. And I'm going to right click on the scene, save as image. And we don't need a high resolution. Save it to my desktop. And let's go into ChatGPT. OK, so I have a brand new chat. I am using ChatGPT4. And let's bring Andrew in. And let's give ChatGPT some instructions. Okay, and I like that just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and download it. So this creates a .webp image, which is not supported in Doodly. So you're going to have to edit it. I'm going to go ahead and edit it real quick and change the format. While I'm here, I'm just going to go ahead and remove the background and crop it. And I'm going to export it as a PNG. You can use whichever tool you use to edit your images. So now to import it, you go to characters, blue and white plus sign, and just browse for your file. Or if you have it handy, drag and drop it in. Okay, there we go. If you want to have the hand draw it, click the little pencil icon and create your drawing paths as you normally would. If you'd rather have it fade, you can go fade, save and return, and it'll fade in. Now let's go to free pick. So here I am in free pick, and I'm going to choose AI sketch to image, and I'm going to upload, and I'm going to choose Andrew. I'm just trying to make it fill the screen. And what this is doing is it's taking the image that you have and reimagining it, basically. If I adjust my imagination here, and what can I say? We're starting to get a tie. Okay, we're getting there. And then let's enhance it and reimagine. Here we go. I like this one. And once you're happy with it, 
you can download it. I'm gonna see what happens if I give it a little more imagination. I like that. Okay, so I'm fine with this. I'm gonna go ahead and download it. And let's bring it in. Okay, so I did have this image that I created in FreePick, and you need to get it into the photo editor. So you want to go to Tools, Photo Editor, and if it's not already in there, you're going to have to upload it. So I'm going to go ahead and upload the businessman that we made earlier, and here he is, Crop. I'm just going to do his profile here. Something like that and apply. Okay, so he's nicely cropped. And then I just will add a duo tone. And this will be fine. I took the background out so we don't have the background change, but this is fine for now. So all I did was change the color and downloaded it. I like PNG. And then I changed the color again. Downloaded it, PNG, and so on and so forth. So over here, and then I imported it in. And then I took all those images, they're each individual images, and I arranged them in a square, like so. And then I put the regular image of him on top so that it would look nice. And I made them all fit. And of course, I put a box around him and put that behind everything. Let's make that a one second drawing. And then I added the text. So if we look at this, preview. That's all I did. And there you have it. That's how you can use some of the AI tools out there to bring in some fresh characters for your doobly videos. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thank you for watching.